at the back there's some sort of disorganization there so i want us to fix it among other places that's how messy the sink looks like that's how the counter looks like i bought these uh, gloves from yes yeah, so now my hands are set so our dishes are now clean so the counter is finally clear hi guys hope you're doing well this is my name and on today's video we're going to do some uh, organization you can see at the back there's some sort of disorganization there so i want us to fix it among other places let me show you so that's how messy the sink looks like that's how the counter looks like i just got my eggs from my neighbor i left this uh, this here it's the mixture i made i don't know which video will come up first but um this i left it here intentionally so that i can see if i can keep away the roaches yeah so this is the current situation the cooker is not so dirty i just brought my garbage paper from outside today is saturday so they threw away the trash today and this is my breakfast pot it's around six but i had my breakfast i don't know my first meal at three the other places are not messed so i will not focus on them if you have not watched uh the video where we organized our spice rack please do in the meantime let's put the house in order the first thing i'll do i'll keep away these eggs this is where I put my eggs. You can see I just only had one remaining. And so when I get new ones, I start on this other side so that I know this side, they are the ones that uh, were the old stock. Yeah, so that's what I have for my eggs. I get them from my neighbor. She has chicken. So at least I'm glad I don't stress and I know I get good quality eggs. The next thing I do, I organize my dishes here because my sink is small so i like putting my dishes here so i will put the spoons and such stuff in one side i don't know whether you're like me because me i'm so petty because <laughs> i organize them before i start cleaning i don't just start cleaning yeah so i'll bring everything to the counter because my sink is small and then the ones which are i feel like they are more dirty i'll soak them so that it make it makes my work easier to clean yeah like this one i want to add some water and then i put on that one at the top then i put things here sometimes i just like pouring some water because you don't know whether it's it's sticking and you think it's okay so i'll pour some water so that by the time i finish organizing i will they will have softened then i will put this water in this inside the spoons so that they soften and everything there then i take my trash bag i put all the trash i cannot see the trash here but the one the one which was in the counter on the sink i have removed so those are my dishes now you can see and i'm ready to start cleaning so before i start cleaning i don't like adding dishes into others i mean i am not going to add others before i clear this so i first clear this the rack is dirty so the first thing i'm going to do is clean the rack i have removed the tray so i need to also remove anything that is detachable and throw it in there at this point you can check if your rack is still stable because sometimes they weaken because of the heaviness of some mostly the pots so you need to check it so i'm just checking 
I'm just checking. Woo! I'm just checking to confirm all the screws are still intact. You can see like this one was loose, so I'll tighten it. Okay, this one I have tightened it. So it's very important because otherwise the next thing you're going to find your dishes on the floor. This one also was loose. This one, so I'm tightening it. It's a bit stable and it was shaky. So that really helps. Before I start on the rack, I'll clean the counter. What do I use for my cleaning? I use uh, Morning Fresh. I love the paste. And of course, a scrub, right? So before I start my cleaning, I have to take care of my nails. So let me show you how. I bought these uh, gloves from Nivas. They costed me 700 And I like them because they are lighter. This is what I have always been using. These are usually, I don't know whether it's, I can't remember the price, but sometimes you feel like they're bulky. The good thing about this one is that you can use this as your cleaning part. You just apply soap here. But for me, I prefer these ones because they are lighter. So I'll just take two pieces. Yeah, so now my hands are set. I think you can also use the gloves to protect your hands especially during this cold season i don't think you must be having polish or you have to have your nails done for you to protect them you can buy the silicone one these are more affordable if you ask me because once you buy ones if you take care of them in a way that they will not be torn meaning don't use them to wash your knife and sharp objects because uh, I have two other pairs which have been torn because of using cleaning a knife using them yeah so I think I will clean offline because if you record it takes a whole longer time and I want to just get over with the dishes yeah but basically you've seen my detergents and my process, I'll just show you the outcome. Some places you need to ensure you remember to clean when you're cleaning your dishes and your sink is the wall. Have you ever gone to someone's house and this place is so disgusting? It always gets some dirt when you're cleaning the dishes. So ensure you clean it as you also clean your rack, your sink and everything. And also the inside, because sometimes you see some stains here. Yeah, so those are just a few tips. So our dishes are now clean, as you can see. And the sink is also clean. Yeah, so we are done with this part. So we have cleaned the microwave. I'm going to share a whole video of how I have done it, because I've realized it's a process that would be nice to share. The counter is getting clean. Now we're going to the cooker and what I want to do is to use the same detergent that is left from the microwave to clean my cooker. I have shared a video of how I clean my cooker so I don't need to share it again. Yeah, but I just use either this or this, the steel wool. The steel wool gives me a better outcome but i might be doing another video of how i deep clean my cooker the few changes i've made from the last time that i shared so look out for it yes i'll show you the final product next thing the cooker is clean you can see that i'm so happy that's another task done i have this oil which was in the cooker you saw me move it so the next thing i'll do i'll empty it here why do i put it here because this place is hygienic one and i 
I prefer everything clean and leave the oil in this oil container and it has a lid so your oil stays clean. So the counter is finally clear. I have this um, mixture that I made yesterday. So it was too much so I left some there. But I'm going to get a jar to put. You can see it's clean. Everything. Yeah. I'm making some rice for dinner. There's some stew so I'll just have rice. After all the hard work, this is my reward. Time to eat. Yes. I'm just I just made rice. The others were leftovers. Yeah, but now my fridge is empty. Just some goat that I don't like. That's why it's not cooked or eaten. I don't know why I didn't like it. And I hope to see you every single day in August supporting us, uh sharing your feedback, maybe reaching out to us to um help us in creating content please we will appreciate your support